Hello, my dear boys and girls. My tonight's arrangement is adjectives and adverbs, and all these are <coughs> textual grammatical items taken from Isaac Asimov's the form they had however whatever may be the fact grammar is grammar it may be textual it may be outside your text i have picked up some important items which are the adjectives i have shown unambiguously and in a straightforward style their usage how these adjectives and adverbs can be used in your own sentences clear the first word is angry it is an adjective you know for example you know what is an adjective it qualifies either a noun or a pronoun you see that he was angry when he entered the room that means at the time of getting entry into the room he was angry so angry is predicative adjective it has taken the place at the place of predicate you see that angry is predicative adjective that means who is angry he is angry he is pronoun so angry is qualifying the pronoun he he was angry when he entered the room and now transform angry into adverb clear i have started the sentence with angrily angrily he entered the room and when an adverb takes its place at the beginning of a sentence it is called a sentence modifier it is not only modifying the verb enter you know that ly that is the suffix adverb modifies either a verb or an adjective or another adverb clear but when the sentence begins with an adverb it is called a sentence modifier remember it angrily he entered the room actually it is modifying the word entered but actually it is modifying the entire sentence the whole sentence he entered the room angrily is the adverb of manner and it is expressing the mood of the subject clear now come to the second point happy happy is always adjective and happily is adverb for example i was happy when i received my result i was happy when i received my result that means at the time of taking my result or at the time of receiving my result i was very much happy okay so happy is qualifying the pronoun i i was happy who was happy i was happy 
So happy is qualifying the pronoun I. When I receive my result. Now transform happy into adverb. What will you say? Happily I received the result. That means happily is modifying the verb received. But remember that I have already stated that when a sentence begins with adverb, it is called a sentence modifier. So happily is sentence modifier, but actually it is modifying the verb received. Don't forget it. Now come to the third. Now come to the third word or third adjective that is Mary. You see that Mary can be easily converted into adverb. Mary is adjective and it can be transformed into adverb. I have used all these words in the sentences of my own. For example, oh sorry, I have uh, written the word, written the sentence at the last. Actually, I forgot to write and that is why I have written it in number, giving the number 5. She was in her merry mood. That means she was in her happy mood. She was in her joyful mood. She was in her joyous mood. Clear? So mood is noun and mood is being qualified by the adjective merry. The adjective merry. So merry is qualifying the noun mood. Naturally, merry is adjective. I have used it in a sentence. Then how will you transform it into adverb? Merry. She went out merrily. She went to school merrily. She went to enjoy a theatre merrily, etc. Whatever may be the fact, merrily is adverb. So, just look at the position of the adverbs. You may begin a sentence with an adverb. You may use the adverb at the end of a sentence. You may use an adverb between the subject and the verb. Or you may use the adverb after the verb. Whatever you like. But it depends on your choice. That is meaningful choice. She went out merrily. Now come to the third point. Sleepy. You see sleep, sleepy. Sleepy means in a drowsy state. In a drowsy state, that means almost in slumber, almost in sleep. So sleepy is adjective. How was she? She was sleepy. So sleepy is qualifying the pronoun C. Clear? Now she was sleepy at her study table. As usually you do, that when you sit down to read, you feel sleepy. So she was sleepy at her study table. Now I am transforming it into adverb. She was reading sleepily at her study table. You see that sleepily is directly modifying the verb reading. Sleepily is directly modifying the verb reading. You remember that I have stated that adverbs can be used in different ways. At the beginning of a sentence, at the last of a sentence, between the subject and the verb, and after the verb. Clear? So, it depends on your meaningful 
choice. Now, <coughs> come to the fifth word. Easy. Easy. Easy is an adjective. All know that easy is an adjective. For example, he should solve the easy problem. The problem is very easy and so he should solve the problem. You see, that problem is noun and it is being qualified by the word easy. How is the problem? The problem is very easy. So easy is an adjective. Everybody knows it. Then how will you transform it into adverb? He should solve the problem easily. So easily is an adverb. It has taken its place at the last of the sentence and it is modifying the verb should solve. Should solve. How should he how should he solve the problem? He will solve the problem easily. So it is an adverb of manner. Clear? Now come to the sixth word. Tidy. Tidy means very clear, neat and clean, etc. You see, she was, sorry, the children, tidy, 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 tidy. No, I have not written, I have not written tidy. So, I am cleaning this portion, tidy. Suppose, I am writing tidy. Tidy is obviously an adjective. Then how will you use it in your sentence? You should be You should be tidy You should be tidy when you are going to school when you are going to school full stop so you should be very neat and clean you should be very smart when you are going to school now try to transform it tidy into an adverb. What will you write? You should go to school tidily. You should go to school tidily. Go to school steadily as you are a student. A student should always be steady. Then why should I write steadily? Steadily is also an adverb of manner. It is directly modifying should go. How should you go? You should go to school steadily in a neat and clean manner. Clear? Now come to noisy. You see that noisy is a word which is obviously an adjective. I have given you an example. The children were noisy in the classroom. That means noisy is qualifying the noun children. How are the children? Or how were the children? The children were noisy. So noisy is a predicative adjective. 
and it is qualifying the <coughs> now children now let us transform it into an adverb the children were gossiping noisily that means the children were gossiping among themselves with a noise noisily means with a noise with a noise so noisily is directly modifying the verb gossiping how are they gossiping or how were they gossiping they were gossiping noisily but noisily has been used at the last of the sentence okay now remains gloomy gloomy means in a melancholy mood in a sad mood in a depressed mood in a frustrated mood not in a jolly mood okay gloomy is adjective for example i am writing a sentence the weather gloomy the weather was gloomy as the sun did not rise the weather was gloomy how was the weather gloomy is just qualifying the noun weather gloomy is qualifying the noun weather how was the weather the weather was gloomy so it is an adjective as the sun did not rise that means in the absence of the sun the weather was gloomy the weather the environment was in a gloomy mood was in a melancholy mood was in a sad mood etc that means was not in a joyful mood then how will you use it as an adverb <clears throat> for example gloomily gloomily the student gloomily the student went out of the class as he did not as he did not prepare his lessons prepare his lessons you see again i have used the adverb at the beginning of a sentence and it is called sentence modifier but actually it is modifying the verb went out how did you go out of the class how did he go out of the class gloomily so it is not only modifying went out it is also but it also but it is also modifying the entire sentence gloomily the student went out of the class as he did not prepare his lessons however let us conclude here some adjectives must be converted or transformed into adverbs and then can, they can be used very easily in your sentences i have given you some examples but don't forget that there are these are all the adverbs of manners when an adjective is converted into a adverb by using the suffix ly or y it is called an adverb of manner an adverb of manner but don't confuse between ly ly with adjective and ly with adverb 
For example, there are some words with ly endings which are not at all adverbs, they are adjectives. For example, I am writing those words. Homely. Friendly. Homely, friendly. Clear? Crinkly. Okay, just let me see. Okay, I have written it down, I have written them down, homely, friendly, kinkly. For example, all these three words <coughs> are with L-Y endings. But will you, <coughs> will you think or will you take them as adverbs? No. They are not at all adverbs. For example, I enjoyed a homely atmosphere in the hotel. Full stop. You see that homely is qualifying the noun atmosphere atmosphere is noun and homely is qualifying the noun atmosphere so homely is actually an adjective but with l y ending friendly we played a friendly match We played a friendly match against our neighboring school. With our neighboring school. Full stop. You say, you see just match is now and how is the match? Friendly match. So, with ly ending friendly is an adjective and match is noun. Clear? Crinkly. The pages of the old book was crinkly. Sorry. Where? 
क्रिंटी The pages of the old book were crinkly. Full stop. How were the pages of the old book? Crinkly. That means with wrinkles, twisted, etc. Yellow is almost torn. Crinkly. So Homely, friendly, crinkly, all these words suggest that LY ending doesn't mean always adverb. There are many adjectives which are with LY ending or LY suffix. So, I end my class here. I have shown you how the adjectives can be transformed into adverbs. And how these adverbs can be placed at the beginning of a sentence, at the last of the sentence, between the subject and the verb and after the verb, always as adverb of manner. And there are some adjectives with L Y endings which are confused as adverbs. So I will not proceed today. I end here and I cannot but remind you to subscribe this channel, to like it and add comment and also share too so that my channel may grow and I may appear before you with many other tidbits of grammar or grammatical items. And these items which I have taught you today or tonight are for all, for CBSE students, for ICSE students, for ISC students, for all students because grammar is for all. So my dear students, my dear boys and girls, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanking all of you. Good night. Please subscribe my channel.